Ibrahim from Egypt. He won the African Championship to secure his two-year tour card. This is his first season. Big, big match for him here on the main table against the main man. Take the phone. By Desislav at Boshilova. Here we go then, best of seven. The first frame, Mohamed Ibrahim. Yeah, big night for him and for Egyptian snooker taking on. He won the uh, African Championship in Casablanca last year. In fact, it was the second time he'd won it and he joined the circuit a few tournaments in. Yeah, Sullivan, in the terms of the Tour Championship, you have to win this event to get in it. Otherwise, his next snooker will be the Crucible. Only just grazed that red, and that's why the cue ball has come in and out of bolt. So first opportunity falls to one of Sullivan. Get oh, enough backspin on the keyboard. It's an immediate mistake. That's a super shot from Mohamed Ibrahim. Technically, it looks very good. Nothing wrong with that. One. That's a terrific pot from Mohamed Ibrahim. Just a bit of an awkward break to make this with the pink and black in awkward positions. Particularly the black. I think the pink spot's occupied and that would have to go Four. up along the bolt line. Five. Yes, on the brown spot, so... Eleven. Oh, to correct myself, the pink spot clearly isn't occupied. Goes on easily and is available. So this is a good chance for Mohamed Ibrahim here. Twelve. Eighteen. Played for the pink into the right centre, I feel. Nineteen. Miss just the line of the cue ball. We shall start though. One. Well, very coolly done. Just about on a red to the right Six. centre, but I don't think the angle is particularly good for him. Six. The first bad mistake from him. Well, absolutely massive, Dave, because look at the position of the Reds now. Well, it's not Five. finished too good. Yeah, not easy. Sullivan, five. Every time you play something like a Ronnie O'Sullivan or a Judd Trump, there's enormous pressure on you. You know that every mistake is likely to be punished. One. It's always the case, though. Six. 
7. He's still number one officially, but of course on the one-year list, he's down at 22nd. That's why he's going to have to win this event to get in the Tour Championship. 14. Wasn't in the Players' Championship recently in Wolverhampton. 21. 22. Another one of Ronnie O'Sullivan's virtues is, for me, his ability to acclimatise to differing playing 30. conditions so quickly. 37. 38. 45. The frame is disappearing from underneath him. 46. Still obviously Requires this nice red though. If it misses the black, oh, dreamy stuff. 52. What a beautiful positional shot that was, just to perfection. Yeah, this has been uh, excellent stuff. Snook is required. A swift effort of 53. Make sure that green is right down this top end of the table. If it's gone wrong, it may oh, just be a snooker, but it's a fairly easy swerve. Oh, Ronnie Sullivan, four. Made the task a lot harder, clearly. Oh, well, he did catch it. And, well, he thinks it's a foul, but he did hit the green, so it's all right. Oh, he definitely hit it, yeah. Get in behind. from now we'll know whether he's still in the world championship or not he'll have played his first match on april the 15th 12. he's won his first frame of the tournament 18. Right now, sullivan frame Ibrahim had a few early chances but when sullivan got his that 53 was the crucial break since the 2018 uk championship so he's won a lot of other tournaments including the world championship a couple of times and other big prestige events because he's seeded number one it's a new event, so he's at the top of the draw. That was a little wild, meanwhile. Yeah, the winner plays David Grace or Ryan Thomason. One. Just tried to hold for red there into the same pocket, but has overrun it. Still has a secondary Eight. alternative to the left centre, though. the red that's just Nine. below the pink at the top of that little group of six there. And well pot into the right corner, that will help Ronnie. He's played for the red there that's just below the black Twelve. because if you can get that one out of the way it makes break building a lot easier. Thirteen. Oh, 
Twenty. the signature Trump's Niner of the Century. Tonight, of course, Ronnie O'Sullivan, just over four years ago, it was the anniversary actually last week of his thousandth at the Preston Guildhall. Last frame of the Players' Championship, typically... 28. Winning frame, a thousandth century, and just great scenes, crowd all on their feet cheering. 29. Just brilliant. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Forty-four. Again, the control exhibited by Ronnie O'Sullivan playing that positional shot off the pink for the blue. It's just very little this man isn't able to achieve on a snooker table. 50. Again, just beautifully controlled, perfectly on the blue or the 51. pink. I wouldn't be surprised to see him try and cannon into the two reds together here just to. No. And the reason being, he can play that next from the black 56. if he wishes, because of the red near the left corner. He's guaranteed 57. to be on it. This frame looks over. 64. 65. Black is frame ball. 62. Well, he just lost the cue ball a little. 72. In it goes. 73. 79. 80. 87. Just five and a half minutes this frame so far, and uh, it's been very ruthlessly killed off in style. 95. 96. In the blink of an eye. 103. 104. That'd be the new front runner, Andrew Higginson. Made a 136 on the opening day last night. 150. 419. 524. 530. This has been a wonderful total clearance from Ronnie O'Sullivan of 137. The Ronnie new Sullivan, tournament high break to three. take control of this match. Still looking at his tip, Ronnie O'Sullivan, isn't, isn't he? Now, what's he doing here? Goodness knows. Get frame three underway, Mohamed Ibrahim. 2-0 down. 92. Yeah, what Ron is looking at here, he feels that when he's playing certain shots, he can just see a little bit of an edge of his tip sticking out from the ferrule which is possibly off-putting to him. And by putting the cue on the rest like that, he's able to look down the cue from further away just to see if there is a problem. Oh dear, God, you can't afford those sort of errors at the moment. So the last frame, just over seven minutes. Four. 
11. A red that's to the right of the black will cut into the left corner. Oh, great pot. Now, One. would it be favoured with a good cannon to the brown? No. Come at Ibrahim. One. One has missed the red and he's left it on. It's a thin cut though, but. Most players would take this on. One. That was a flute from Monio Sullivan, the red to left corner. Landed nicely on the yellow, and now he's back in business again here in frame three. Three. Yes, it is looking ominous, you got to say. Certainly he's getting flukes as well. Four. Eleven. into that group of five reds here if he wishes Ronnie but he doesn't like to play shots like this unless he's got full control of the cue ball and hampered by the red decided against that cannon he's okay here straightish red to the green pocket Twenty-seven. but now could play a cannon into the five reds because he'll expect to be on the red to the left centre Surprised he played it at that much pace. And he is on the red to the left centre, but he's also on a choice of others. Beautifully Third. played once again. He ended up on four reds there. <laughs> Couldn't have gone any better, could it? Third. So 3-0, three. Three he's dawning. Uh, lovely split. So it is very one-sided. It's got to be said, OK, the, the fluke helped Fourth. at the start, but the rest of it, I mean, the, the yellow actually Fourth. next shot. One. Not much more to do now in this frame to get to within one of victory. 48. Forty-nine. So will it be back-to-back -back century breaks? Fifty-six. Fifty-seven. Sixty-two. Sixty-three. He's in one of those moods, Ronnie O'Sullivan, isn't, isn't it? Barely giving our referee, Desislava Boxelo, the chance to respot the blue before playing his next red. Ronnie yeah, he didn't like that one, did he? But anyway, a solid 70 from O'Sullivan. Actually, Anton Kazakov is sat there in the back row because he's just been beaten by Jackson Page, but he's uh, come, come to watch this. 's fraction now oh, what damage has he done
while he pushed the boat out there. Can Ibrahim, who's uh, had to sort of sit out the last couple, can he put some together? It'd be nice to see him do it. Six. Seven. Ooh. 13 14 The red love to get out of the way is the one nearest this left corner because it's blocking the black Although saying that the black spot's occupied at the moment so it wouldn't benefit him greatly anyway I need this to slow down 17 Just finished a little awkward but he's okay Twenty-three. It'd be easy to play for the red. Twenty-four. Near the pink spot. I don't blame him for doing so, but this break's not an easy 29. one to, to make. The black doesn't pot anywhere yet. Pink's a little awkward. Overscrewed it though badly. Thirty. Bit of a thin cut now. May have to consider cannoning into the three reds by the black spots and not one of those into play. Well, a decent pot on the pink, and the red that's closest 36. to the keyboard will pot. Ah, oh, how about that for a shot? What a great red it was, but 37. very fortuitous to land on the black the way he did, but deserves a bit of luck. Absolutely, listen, take it. And, uh, things have gone against him. O'Sullivan's had a couple of flukes himself. Well, the positional shot from the black to the red was a poor one. We had over him 44. I don't know if Ronnie can plant a red onto it. He could and did. One. Eight. And it looks like we'll see more of him in this year's WST 40. Classic. Yeah, still a long way behind in this frame, Ronnie, but the ball's at his mercy. 29. 30. Playing the most difficult red. 37. 38. What was that? Mohamed Ibrahim's last hope. Another chance in this fourth frame. Everything now set out in the open for Ronnie O'Sullivan to clinch frame and match here. 45. But no, a reprieve. Very unexpected one now. What a chance this is for Mohamed Ibrahim. Comes to the table just a single point behind. Mohamed Ibrahim, can he grab hold of it here? Starts with this uh, pot with the rest and the extension on the cue. 45. key thing here is just not to make the keyboard travel unnecessarily far. Six. Just needs to roll balls in, play simple stuns and screws. Already he's played for the black and straight Seven. away this keyboard's going to have to travel a few feet. Already a bit of a problem. Fourteen. 
Fourteen. So often 16. happens once you begin to lose position, it begins to snowball. And this green is a tricky cutback now. Nineteen. He just needs the brown for his first frame of the match. A frame one against Ronnie O'Sullivan, who seemed to have the match won. In it goes. Well done, Point Mohamed three. Ibrahim. Wasn't expecting to get the chance. Twenty-eight. So Mohamed Ibrahim Hazard of Egypt the won the frame to trial three-one. Much too thick on the red. One in picture you can see is hidden by the yellow, but the red near the rest of the corner will certainly pot. One. straight couldn't avoid the jaws with the cue ball wow a black would go problem is it didn't so an opportunity again for Mohamed Ibrahim yeah that one didn't threaten it's got to be said One. Superb queuing from Ronnie, hampered by the brown, but potted the red anyway. Now, is he just about okay on the yellow as we tempt it to the centre pocket? I wonder. Preferred the brown and the cannon to the green has definitely helped Ronnie. Just needs one Five. good positional shot for a colour, perhaps the pink to left centre. Six. Six. Yeah, it seems a bit of focus has gone. I just wonder if he can stun him behind the yellow. He could indeed. I wonder if he tried to bring the pink into play as well there. That could have been helpful. This won't reach. Oh, no must. As we said, the position of the balls is very good. One mistake could be extremely costly. This safety exchange between the two players of paramount importance. That's not the best shot from Ronnie, but... Yes, Ronnie really does need to apply himself here and not lose focus. He only needs one good chance on here. They're all there, as you say, Dave. That's brought the pink into play, so all of a sudden blue, pink and black are all in the open. We'll certainly pot to this right corner if there's no safety alternative. One. So, the deadlock is broken by Mohamed Ibrahim. Eight. 
13. He's had a look to see 40. if the red that's closest to the green will drop into that left centre. Thirty. It just seems that he's no longer sort of thinking about who he's playing. He's just playing the match now. Thirty-seven. He's taken them nicely. Thirty. And you can see the difference in Mohamed Ibrahim's play. Much quicker around the table 45. now. Feeling more and more confident. He's been given opportunities. It's definitely sparked a bit of revival in his play. Mohamed Ibrahim, 46. Well, and he missed first. that one, but he's over the line in the frame. 54 in front, 35 on. Mohamed Ibrahim extends the match and raises the prospect of a full scale recovery. Is this red going to finish? Oh, it's just travelled far enough to not be possible from where the cue ball is, but of course, normally you wouldn't expect O'Sullivan to miss this. So, first chance in frame six has fallen to Ronnie. At some point, if he can just get onto the red that's above the black to the left corner, he can stun into the red that's to the right of the black, knock that out of the way and really open things up, so immediately he's tried to leave himself that angle. Oh, do you know what, I think he's played it perfectly. Not be quite straight enough on that red, actually. Well, if he could put this away in one visit, that would at least end the evening on a high. Of course, he made that wonderful 137 back in the second frame, 70 in the third. Well, a nice split, so a good chance here for O'Sullivan to get this one. his focus and concentration may come and it may go but I think his form is pretty much a constant I think overall he's had a good attitude to this match he's come here business like didn't get too down on himself when things turned a bit scrappy he's just uh, looked for this chance and it's a great one now isn't it everything is there
This next red is match ball. Uh, it's been a quick kill in this frame. Ronnie O'Sullivan is into the next round. Well, Mohamed Ibrahim put a bit of pressure on, and he will look back, I think, with uh, some positivity on this match. He won two frames. He's had the experience of playing Ronnie O'Sullivan. He wasn't hammered by him. Far from it. Well, he's had his chances, Mohamed Ibrahim, and the scoreline is certainly a respectable one. So he can certainly take something out of this match. Sullivan end with the second century. Well, he's still not happy with the queue, despite this uh, good break to win it. Well, it looks like it's going to have to be looked at before the next match. But despite that, he's potted the red and he's surely going to make the century now. Second of the match. To win the match. Completely lost the cue ball, but at least he's made the century. <laughs> he's not happy to make the century, he's annoyed at the positional shot. So, a bit of a strange ending, but he's won by four frames to two. Ronnie O'Sullivan into the last 64 of the WST 